before elections. But the independence movement demanded amnesty. It demands a self-determination referendum. No amnesty, no self-determination vote will be. Not first due to personal and political conviction. Secondly, as no global constitution recognizes segregation as a right, the Spanish constitution is an example. And secondly, prior to that, on the contrary, independence does not require a reform of the penal code legislation. What independence is asking for, and you know it and the viewers know it, is amnesty. Something that, of course, this government is not going to accept and that, of course, is not included in the legislation or in the Spanish constitution. And I truly believe that the independence movement needs to self-reflect on what occurred in 2017. I understand that you come here, tomorrow the same thing will happen, and the next day too, telling me that your maximum program, well, we already know it, it is self-determination, it is amnesty according to you. However, in any case, if we wish to make progress in the dialogue table, I comprehend that we should initiate conversations about those things in which we are closer. Because if we can only talk about self-determination and amnesty, is that a dialogue? Is that a negotiation? Or is it an imposition? Now, if we discuss self-determination and amnesty, well, obviously, the path is what it is. That's why I mentioned the principle of reality. After elections. But from the elections arises an even more powerful reason, and it seems to me that it is much more conclusive. And it's an opportunity. Due to the outcome in Catalonia, that of the previous 23 from July, proved that the grace measures, pardons, have had a significantly larger impact on Catalan society than could have been anticipated. And it's been overwhelmingly positive regarding the reunion and overcoming of the trauma of the breakup we experienced back in the year 2017. To put it differently, Catalonia is fully prepared and eager for the total reunion that is set to take place. Representatives of more than 80% of Catalans support this measure, and for those same reasons, in the name of Spain, in the interest of Spain, in defense of coexistence among Spaniards, today I defend amnesty in Catalonia for the objective events. Pedro Sanchez has registered an amnesty law that is unconstitutional, and he is going to approve it because he has appointed Conde Pumpido, a person he trusts, to preside over the constitutional court. The amnesty law and the agreements reached to govern are a blow to democracy and the beginning of a new regime. Pedro Sanchez has murdered democracy. The rule of law and the separation of powers with the sole purpose of remaining in control of the government. 